I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the realness. What's good DC? I'm back with another Source Mark Guy video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, I believe over a year now. Regardless, Source Marks is the number one way to earn DC cash in the game. They're the source for everything. That's why they're called Source Marks. The devs know this. That's why in the last two years, they've been trying to nerf almost every farm in the game. They've been trying to slow the community down on earning these because they know someone that understands the broker, they can earn roughly 10 mil for every 100 Source Marks that they farm. So with that said, let's get into the video. This is a perfect example of what the devs did to try to slow everybody down from earning source marks recently. So right here on October 5th, 2023, we had the episode 46 come out. And with this release, they came out with the a, a bunch of changes. The stabilizer that we were earning from the Dr. Fate rewards, they took them all out and they put in the stabilizer duo. They brought that back and they turned it into a solo instead of a duo, actually. And then they took out Artifact XP. There's a they took out trading artifact xp and this is very important because they did this mostly because of what the speed hackers were doing and this is also why they put the five minute loot lock timer on the omnibus content and it's because speed hackers were afk farming in there they would also run a macro to where they can pop nth metal detectors every hour by the time they were done farming the next day they get on the game they'd have so much resources they can sell it for for billions and billions of dc cash and you already know it they they sell that dc cash for real life money etc etc so in an effort to try to stop them or actually slow them down because they didn't stop the speed hackers, they put a five minute loot lock timer to prevent exploitation. What does this exploitation looks like? Well, if you go to this video right here, DCUO maps dark side of DC universe online, you will see everything that has to do with this exploitation that the devs are talking about. Now with that said, the devs didn't really fix this. They only slowed the speed hackers down. This is why I troll the devs on my channel the way I do. The devs don't fix nothing. They just put a band-aid on there. So if if you still if a speed hacker still wanted to AFK farm, they could still do it. The difference is, is if you run it legit with a group, you're going to get 10 source marks. If you AFK speed hack farm it, you're only going to get 4 source marks. But what's better? The speed hacker not having to make a group over and over again to get 10 source marks or get 4 source marks every 5 minutes and just sit there doing nothing. Long story short, the devs never stopped the speed hackers from AFK farming. They're still able to do it today. They, they prevented us from selling nth metal cache boxes in the broker specifically because the speed hackers are still able to AFK farm and make tons of DC cash off them. And to make matters worse, there's a programmer right now trying to rewrite the code so that he can program the speed hack to bypass the five minute loot lock timer that the devs put into the game. Without an anti cheat, they're not going to stop no speed hackers in this game. So with that said, let's move on. All right, so I'm going to show you three different source mark farms. Two of them you can do by yourself. The third one, you need a group. If you've been following my channel, you know what some of these source mark farms already are. So the first one right here is a solo temple of source power from the Wonderverse DLC. You can queue this up or you can walk in. I'm going to show you how the walk in works. OK, so first we're going to go to Patchwork Themyscira. Once we teleport, is going to pop us into the open world and you're going to have to go to this teleport right here. I like going to the Apocalyptian invasion. So the walk in is right here. Now, if you didn't complete the journal mission from the Wonderverse DLC, you're not going to see the teleporter. The mission is right here. It's called Wonderverse. This is what you need to complete. Once you complete it, all the teleporters will appear around the map and you'll be able to go into the walk in. When you complete the journal mission, you'll see the temple of source power pop up on the open world and you can walk into it. The map is going to look like this. You got the temple of Hera. You got um, right here, temple of Hippolyta. And you got a temple of uh, Aphrodite. And I believe Ares is the last one or Athena. My bad, Athena. So these are the four spots you can go in. Each one gives you different loot depending on which one you go into. Now, in order for this solo to give you three source marks every time you complete it, you are going to have to upgrade the adaptive augments from this DLC. You don't need to go past level 17. When you get to level 17, you see right there, it gives you one extra source marks when going into the content. 
When you go into the open world, you want to go to the Minotaur right here next to the Lieutenant. And he has them for five marks a pop, the augments that you need. They're right here. If you don't have the resources to level them, don't sweat it. You eventually will earn all the resources from the solo over time. So the way this farm works, you're going to walk into the Temple of Source Power or queue up, depending on what you like to do better. I like to walk into it. I believe it's faster. And you're going to beat the two bosses in here. And when you beat Grail, you're going to get three source marks if you have the two adaptive augments leveled up to level 17. If you don't have it, don't sweat it. You're only going to get one. This isn't going to be the best farm, though, if you don't have it. So right here, you see the loot. You get three source marks after picking your gear. And you get some resources to level the uh, head augments up. Right, so now I'm going to leave. Now, after leaving the Wonderverse solo, you have one of two options. You can go out into the open world and run some solo missions or a bounty to expire the five-minute timer, or you can queue up one of these two solos, Last Son of Krypton or Spark of Parallax. If you have a lot of burn, I would recommend queuing up Spark of Parallax because between the dialogue and the cutscenes, it'll expire the timer just in time for you to go back in there. If you have slow burn, then queue up Last Son of Krypton and skip the cutscene. And that's basically it. You rinse and repeat. It's not the best source mark farm. That's why I'm going to show you two more. But when it comes to making a group, if you're on the Xbox server or EU server or Nintendo Switch even, and you don't have a high population and you can't make yourself a source mark farming group, well, you can go in these solos by yourself and get as much source marks as you possibly can handle. The second source mark farm is open world bounties once a week. These open world bounties give you eight marks a pop. And if you're on a server that's populated like PlayStation, well, you'll be able to find the, the most populated phase like you see there. Number one is usually the most populated phase. Try to get in here and immediately you're going to find people killing these bounties. If you put in an orbital strike and an ally together and you end up dying, nobody picks you up. Just stay down. They'll kill the bounty and you'll get credit for it. Every open world has about three bounties two to three bounties depending on the content and some of these open world bounties they consist of repetitive tasks not even killing a bounty is killing specific enemies and you'll get eight source marks i don't recommend doing no stick to the bounties but you'll see here from tier six to tier five is the most populated worlds once you start going below tier five they're less populated you're most likely going to have to make a group if you want to get those bounties done I'm going to go into Central uh, Central City Starro so you can see how easy some of these missions are. So here's an example of one of the missions that you can get in the open world. That will give you eight marks. This one's really easy. It's in the um, Central City Starro invasion. All you got to do is just kill the starfish on the top of the roof and you get eight source marks. Once you get to the roof, you kill them and get eight source marks. I wish there was more bounties like this that you can do by yourself. Unfortunately, there isn't. Uh, the rest consists of killing at least 300 or something as those get repetitive. I wouldn't recommend doing those. Now for the last and final source mark farm, it's a tier 4 raid, Ultimate Soldier. Hands down, this is the best source mark farm in the game. None beat it. And the reason why is because you're getting 10 source marks out of this raid every 5 minutes. And it's not just the source marks you're getting, there is good loot in this raid. You can make quite a bit of DC cash if you know what you're looking for. In a minute here, I'm going to show you an example of that. But if you have a good group, you can come out of this raid every 5 minutes with 10 source marks. The timer works out because sometimes players drop out of your group and you got to replace them. And sometimes it takes more than 5 minutes to just beat this raid. So here's an example of what I mean. You can earn loot in this raid that can sell for quite a bit of DC cash, especially nowadays that the devs are trying to slow us down from earning DC cash. So right here you see Urgent Warfronts. Believe it or not, you can sell this thing for quite a bit of money. And this is not the only item. There's some base items in here you can sell for a lot of DC cash. But right there, Urgent Warfronts, 5.4 mil. I've actually sold this thing for 8 mil, but I sell and undercut accordingly as the broker prices go up and down. That's why I got only 5.4 mil this time out of it. But before, before this, it was 8.5 mil. And then before that, it was probably 6.7 mil. And I just keep on making the bread, man. That's This is how you earn money in this game. As a matter of fact, in that raid, you earn plans. If, you, if the broker's not your thing, if you don't like dealing with broker fees, especially beginner players get discouraged, you can just sell those plans for, uh, for 32,000 DC cash in the vendor. 
every time you come out of that raid, you'll have over 60,000 DC cash just by doing that. I wouldn't recommend it because you can get way more stuff out of that raid than just 60,000. Lastly, I recommend keeping up on the forums and what the devs post. Every week, they have some kind of spotlight or some kind of double source mark event. Right now, it's Spotlight Eight of Ju Age of Justice, and that's that Ultimate Soldier Raid I was just showing you. You're getting 20 marks of pop in there right now. That doesn't mean it's going to last forever, so I recommend going to the forums and checking up on the devs each week. They update this. If you don't like going on the forums, I do post what the devs update on the forums on my community page. So right here, you'll see, go to the community. I got updates every every week I update this. Here's Age of Justice is that Ultimate Soldier Raid. It's going on till February 7, 2024. Um, before that, we had double source mark weeks, uh, right? I think it's right here, yep. And I keep track of all this stuff every week. If if you don't like reading the, the updates, well, I also do videos on them. Just look up any of my videos that say Daily Planet News and it's everything DCUO everything you need to know about the game all the updates all the news if you found this video informative leave a like if you end up grinding a lot of source marks with these farming methods consider sharing the content and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to the channel i hope you have a good day and i'm out i got you stuck off the realness i got you stuck off the realness i got i got i got i got you stuck off the realness